Greetings everyone and Happy New Year! Welcome again to the Amateur Paleo Cook. My name is Sahal and we just had a major snowstorm hitting the Northeast. So I'm in a great mood to make some osobuco. Now this osobuco will not just be any other osobuco, it will be paleolized. Not sure if that's exactly a word, but I'm going to use it anyway. So let's go over the ingredients list. Alrighty, so now onto our ingredients. First, we have about four or five pounds of grass-fed shank steaks. Now, funny story is when I went to the local farmer's market uh, to buy these, they only have one piece of real shank steak left, and that's the one you see in the middle. The rest are pretty much just shank steak wannabes. Uh, they didn't have any more uh, in stock, and so I just picked up some miscellaneous beef bones, but uh, they should still taste great nonetheless. All right, uh, next we have one cup of beef broth. This is Swanson brand with 50% less sodium. All right, and then we have the Miroquois. Uh, I believe that is French. And that is made up of two cups each of celery, carrots, and onion, red onion in this case. Then we have four cloves of garlic followed by two bay leaves. Now the garlic doesn't have to be minced in this recipe because uh, everything will be mixed together and uh, it'll be simmered over a long period of time so everything will soften up. Next we have the one cup of almond flour. Now almond flour is going to be used in this recipe instead of the traditional uh, regular flour because regular flour again is not paleo whereas almond flour is. Followed by that is some coconut oil of course uh, our all reliable coconut oil. Then we have one jar of this Gina Respoli Arabiata sauce. You can use marinara sauce but uh, I like to have some kick in this dish and therefore I'm going to go with this Arabiata sauce. I think that's how you say it. And lastly we have salt and pepper. Of course pretty much in every other recipe we have salt and pepper. Now uh, a couple things, uh, well one big thing that's missing in this one is the wine that's usually called for in the osobuco. Uh, alcohol is technically not paleo and therefore I am skipping it for today. Uh, but in the future, I will add uh, alcohol to some recipes. All right, so let's head over to the stovetop. All righty, everyone. Uh, I actually spoke a bit too soon about uh, getting to be cooking right away because we still need to first dredge the beef shanks. And the way to do that is in our almond flour, we're gonna put in some salt. and some pepper. Mix that up. And then just coat the beef shanks in this mixture. Now the reason we do that is so the when it's cooking uh, in the pot, it really, seal, it really seals in the moisture and that makes it for a better tasting dish. All right, so we'll be right back once we have done just that. Okay, so now that we have our shank steaks all dredged, we'll be adding two tablespoons of coconut oil to our pot here. And I am using a enameled cast iron. I really love the cast iron. They hold up heat extremely well. Definitely recommended uh, for anyone. And then once the oil is heated up, we will be adding the shank steaks, preferably all in one layer. So if that means you're gonna be doing it in two batches, then do that. Um, it's a lot better if, we, if they are added in one layer than two or three. So we'll be right back with the finished seared shank steaks. Okay, so now that we have the shank steaks all seared up and browned, they look great. Now, don't worry if they are not cooked fully 
uh, all the way right now because again they will be simmered uh, in the sauce for four hours later on and therefore they will definitely be cooked by then. Next we are going to be adding the vegetables but before that again uh, without turning down the heat of the pot we're going to be adding two more tablespoons of coconut oil and then add our Miracua vegetables of carrots, celery, and onion. And lastly, we are also going to be adding the garlic as well. Okay, and then we're going to just cook that until all the vegetables are soft and the onions are translucent. So we'll be right back once that is done. Okay everybody, now that the vegetables that we have here has been sweating pretty well, uh, we're going to be adding everything in except for the beef shanks. So that means we have our bay leaves that goes in. We have our cup of beef broth. Also, the arabiata sauce is in as well. Boy, the color just looks magnificent here. Okay, and then a generous pinch of salt plus pepper. Now we're gonna be simmering this for five minutes, let it come to a boil. And then once we reach that point, then we're gonna add in the beef shanks. Okay, so we'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay, so now it has been five minutes. The sauce is looking great. We're gonna be adding back the beef shanks to the sauce, cover everything, and then reduce the heat to medium low for to simmer for the next four hours. And then every 30 minutes or so, you can open the cover and uh, stir things around to keep things moving. Now, uh, because this is a video recording, you don't have to wait four hours. You just have to wait approximately one second. Alrighty there. So now it has been four hours in real time. And let's just take a look at what the Oscar has to offer. Uh, be careful, it's really hot. Uh, and it looks great. Uh, the steaks have all been so tenderized and everything has reduced down. And now I'm just going to be plating this and then we're going to see uh, what the final presentation looks like. All right, so stay tuned. All right, folks. So here we have in front of us is the finished plate of the Asabuco and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to have a taste right now. You don't even need a knife for this because so pork and tender, got some beef and the uh, celery and the carrots, and here we go. Mm. Got a piece of bone there too. <laughs> but it is absolutely incredible. Um, the arabiata sauce really comes out uh, well in this. Uh, that's why I prefer this over the marinara sauce. And the beef really shines in this dish. So. That is everything for today. Um, again, the recipe is posted on my blog and with the link is actually below. If you could all give a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that will also be great. Until next time, uh, keep it simple and live paleo. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care, everybody.